Hey Trickster, Patrick here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my experience at Sauna NZ in beautiful Amsterdam. Actually, it's called Sauna New but <laughs> so I can't pronounce that. So for short, they just call it Sauna NZ. We're gonna discuss the location, the staff, the facilities, the men, the pros and cons, and at the end, I'm gonna give my final rating out of five eggplants. Let me know down in the comments, have you been to Sauna NZ? And what was your experience like? Also, when I say the place was packed, I mean it was a packed. So, to hear all of my personal stories from that night in detail, go to my OnlyFans page. The link is in the description below. Let's jump right in with the location. The location of Sauna NZ is ideal. Any location in Amsterdam would be ideal because the place is tiny. It's not a big city. Anything that's in like the central area is gonna be really easy to get to. Most things are walking distance. Everything for sure is biking distance, but no problems on the location side of things. If you've watched my sauna review videos, you know how much the staff can influence my final rating, as it did in this video right here. So let's talk about the staff at Sauna NZ. They were fantastic. They were so good to the point, to the extent that like, when we first walked up to the place, we were greeted by like a security guard guy that was kind of like hanging out up front. So as a security guard, you would think that his job would be just to take care of security, not to be super friendly and informative and smiley. He was so lovely. If somebody from Sauna NZ is watching this right now, the guy that was working on um, October 1st that night, <laughs> give him a raise. He's amazing. Opened the door and let us inside and it really set up the night on the right foot. Now, did it stay on the right foot? Keep watching to find out. So then we're standing at the front desk and the guy is checking us in. He's very friendly, he's smiling, telling us how everything works, we pay, we get our key, we get our towel. Now remember, this review is based on one night that I was there at Sauna NZ. Staff, listen, if you've been watching my videos and you like my stuff, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and give her a like. But let's move on to the facilities, because the facilities also, much like the staff, for me, are gonna make or break the night. So, did Sauna NZ live up to this wonderful start. Let's see. So, I got my key, I got my towel. The door opens. It's a big locker room, lots of lockers. The key to the locker is amazing. It's a wrist strap. It like looks like a watch, it has a strap. You put it on your wrist, you will never lose this thing on your wrist. Got a good size locker. Like I said, the locker room is a good size. Some benches for sitting down. From the locker room, you can look to your right and it opens up into this humongous lounge. Like an oversized lounge with couches and tables. And when I tell you there were just men everywhere, like strewn about, I'm not even exaggerating. The scene that we walked into was a large bar serving alcohol, which you know I love, in these situations, because sometimes you're not in the back getting pounded. Sometimes you wanna take a break and have a refreshing beer, right? I, the bar at this point was so high, I was actually afraid for the rest of the night because I thought, where can we go from here but down? The main area in the back is like a dark maze-like area. So there's corridors with rooms. So you find a cubicle, you shut the door, you can latch it and you use it for the time that you need it. Of course, all the cubicles are different. Some are standing rooms, some have benches, some have, uh, you step up and there's like a mattress. So there's like almost like a bed in there. Um, some have glory holes. They have a slurp ramp back there, which you remember the slurp ramp is some people walk up and there's holes and some people are standing down here. There were so <laughs> many guys, but there were still enough rooms to go around. Okay, we gotta talk about the dark room. They have a big dark room there. 
The nice thing about this dark room is though, there are two entrances to it, so there is some light coming in. Not only that, they have like red accent lighting in there. So when you're in the dark room, it's not pitch black. And I'll tell you, there were a lot of people in there. It's crazy. There's a bench in there, and there's even a sling off in one corner. Okay, so let's talk about the dry sauna, wet sauna, shower area. So all of those are on one side. You've got a big oversized dry sauna, super clean, and it has windows that look into the shower. So in the dry sauna, you're sitting, you're watching people coming and going and taking showers in the communal like shower area. Beside the showers, there's closed toilet stalls. So complete privacy, which is really nice because when you're in a bathhouse, you're trying to keep it sexy, right? <laughs> so you don't want people hearing <laughs> I appreciate that the bathrooms are fully closed and completely private. You close the door with douching stations. The door leading into a big steam room and the steam room kind of has two sides to it and it kind of wraps around. There's lots of levels with benches and also windows facing out so you can watch people walking down the hallways. Oh, and finally off across from like the wet sauna when you go down the hall on the other side there, there's a jacuzzi. It's not the biggest jacuzzi, and like I said, there was a lot of people, so the jacuzzi was full for most of the night. I didn't even get a chance to go in. Okay, I know you're waiting to hear about the men. As you would expect in a European country, it was very international, so there were actually a lot of Middle Eastern guys. There was a lot of European guys from different parts of Europe. I heard a lot of different languages. There was a lot of Spanish guys. Generally, they were very friendly, very chatty, very easy to approach and not afraid to approach you. Um, there was no issues with speaking with people or starting something with someone. The only thing that I did notice, and I don't know if this is true to, if it's a Dutch thing, I had to get used to their brisk way of kind of almost changing their mind in the moment and saying no and then moving on which at first you tend to take personally because you're like oh what what did i do wrong but then you notice that oh wait this is just how they do things here and it's just kind of like for whatever reason you know in north america we're very like oh yeah so you know i don't want to hurt your feelings but there they don't really care about that <laughs> it seems so as long as you're okay with that and just get your head around the fact that it's not you, it's the situation. You're meeting people, sometimes it doesn't click, sometimes it doesn't work, and that's okay. The first couple of times I was like, oh, oh, but then I was like, oh wait, this is a thing. <laughs> this is how they do it here. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm making it sound like I was rejected a lot. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the pros of Sana NZ. Obviously, this entire video, I've been gushing about the space, the place, the people, so there's, a lot of pros. I, I have to, you know, shout out to the staff, especially that security guy. Um, you know, when something unexpected like that happens where I'm just like, wow, you went above and beyond. That's like bonus marks for me. So I love that. For the facilities, I mean, they just had everything that you would want. Enough space to play and enough space to relax and chill out and have a beer and chat with people. Definitely a pro was the men. Now, I can only base it, again, on the night that I was there, the men. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's talk about some cons. There's nothing to talk about. The only thing that maybe I could bring up is not that big, except that it is. I can't really think of any cons for this place. Based on my experience from that one night in Sauna NZ, I'm going ahead and awarding them, and this is the first time that I'm doing this, they are getting a whopping six out of five eggplants. Congratulations! Wee -hoo -hoo! Now, we all know that my experiences with the guys helped to sway my opinion and my final rating like we saw at Sweatbox. So imagine how good things went at Sauna Z, if you know what I mean. 
catch all the stories again. Find that on my OnlyFans page linked below. And a huge shout out to my newest patron, BeBadXX. To become a patron and get perks like advanced access to episodes, behind the scenes content, and direct access to me, just follow the link in the description below. And if you're looking for something else to watch, why not try this? I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!